Yo, what's going on my people? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Josian and this is Kingdom Sense. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the final, I believe it's the final one in the collection for Mason Alhambra. As you can see right here, I have all of the Mason Alhambra Tom Ford clones, the private line. Um, these are all clones. I put them here for this video. I put them for a few other videos too because I got I just got the Porto Neroli and today this came so I wanted to check out with you guys Fabolo Intense. Good thing that this is the Mason Alhambra one because if it was a Tom Ford one then I would have to put some type of blur on the box. If you guys don't know this is a clone of Tom Ford's effing fabulous. I'm not going to curse. And uh, quite frankly, I'm kind of a shock that a company that big decides that they want to. I mean, hey, whatever. Um, OK, so just like all the other ones, this is the presentation. It's actually a really nice box. Uh, all of them are is very good, good quality. You lift it up and boom, there is the bottle. And uh, this bottle looks like it's leaking yep that bottle is leaking so we're gonna have to contact a few people but um while we have it let's try it out see if we like it so here's a presentation very simple plain it's all black mason a Humber logo on the on the top uh, uh fabulo intense at the in the front and then you have mason alhambra and the and a sticker on the bottom hmm. smells pretty good yeah it's it's legit like le leaking everywhere okay so let's try out the atomizer these these atomizers usually are really good this has already been sprayed it's okay i don't know if it's the pressure or what it is Okay, so you have a uh, you have a clean lavender up at the top. It has some greenness. It's actually not that bad. See, I'm not the biggest fan of the Tom Ford, effing fabulous. I'm not the biggest fan of that. I think that that one is is very divisive, very different. This one, it smells a lot like it, but I don't know why. This one smells a little bit more manageable to me. I think it's a little bit more toned down. I think it's, they say, if this is, they always market it for unisex, but this smells to me manly. This is aromatic. It's more of like a, in the Fougere family, you have some sage and you have some lavender, some freshness there. Okay, so I have the notes pulled up both for uh, F, the Tom Ford and the Mason Alhambra. Notes are exactly the same. You have lavender and clary sage at the top. You have some bitter almond. You have some vanilla and orris in the mid. And then in the base, you have some white woods, some leather, some tonka bean, cashmere, and, and amber. Now, what does this, this, this gives you, it's a, it's a more of a serious gentlemanly type of fragrance. This is not a fragrance that you're going to wear to, you know, just be by the pool or just hang out or whatever. It's a little bit more serious, a little bit more dressed up, a little bit more grown up. Uh, I definitely think that guys under, uh, under 25 might not like this just because there's not much sweetness here and the sweetness that is here from the vanilla and from the tonka bean it's not a bubble gum like really really sweet it's more just like a nice base just to give it a little bit of roundness but this is more about the the clary sage the greenness of the clary sage you have the freshness and the clean smell of the lavender the slight powdery not much but slight slight powdery the, the the bitter almond is probably the most unique note in here 
and then you have some wood and some leather in the bottom. That's mostly what I get in here. You get a little bit of the sweetness from the vanilla and tonka bean, but not very sweet. Not very sweet. It's more manly, more ambery and leathery. It's it's manly. It's a manly scent. This is something that you would uh, probably smell your uncle or your dad wearing. You know what I mean? This is the type of fragrance that it is. It's not bad. I didn't think I was going to like it. Honestly, I picked it up just because um, I have all of them. And then I saw this one for like $18. And I was like, you know what? Let me let me just pick it up because it's eighteen dollars, and I get to uh, complete the collection. So I didn't think I was gonna like this one. Honestly, I had no expectations whatsoever. I just got the box. I opened it up and decided to check it out, and I'm pleasantly surprised. Honestly, I'm pleasantly surprised. I'm gonna give it some wear, um, and uh, and I'm gonna give you an update and let you know. What I think about it, I think that the presentation quality, there's no alcohol tinge when you first spray it. There's no, the quality is awesome with all of these. And this includes this one. The quality is good. The atomizer is good. Now, I unfortunately got a uh, one that's leaking. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, one that's leaking all over. So I'm going to have to address that. But um, scent wise, it's a smooth, uh, very clean, easy going scent, especially compared to the Tom Ford one. I think that one's a little bit more rough. This one's easier to wear in my, in my opinion. So if you're looking for that type of scent, but you think it's way too strong, check this one out. It is only $18 in fragrance by dossier. I'll leave a link down in the description, but that's going to be my first impressions. I like it. I'll give it a good. I'll give it a 6.5 out of 10 for now, just because I'm not wowed by it, but I'm surprised that I actually like it. So I'm going to give it a 6.5 out of 10 for now. I'm going to wear it more, see how, what, what the performance and everything like that is. And then I'll get back to you, but thank you guys so much for watching. Please consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like down below because it helps me out so much and leave a like, I mean, leave a comment, please leave a comment. Let me know. What is your favorite Tom Ford from the private line? Have you smelled them? And if you have, which one's your favorite? Let me know in the comments. I love you guys to death. God bless you all and take care.